The Electoral College is set for the 29th to the 31st of this month and 215 delegates and candidates will take part in the meeting that the Swapo party refers to as the port. Nangolombumba says the party's wings and affiliate unions have already finalized their respective lists of candidates and delegates to the Electoral College. The swap of party structures in the regions are also said to be in the process of completing their respective list and candidates and delegates to the port. Swap of party members of parliament who are not members of the central committee are 17. <coughs> By virtue of the fact that they are members of the present parliament or the present national assembly, they will go to the, to the port. Then, Swapo Party Elders Council, Swapo Party Youth League, NUNW, they will send six, <coughs> the six delegates who are also candidates. The Swapo Party Women Council will send ten. Each region will send two candidates. The Secretary-General indicated that in case the amendment to increase the seats in Parliament is not passed by the commencement date of the Electoral College, the party will base its list on the existing law and only nominate 72 members to the National Assembly. Whatever number is allowed by law by that time, we are not going to have extra people, we are not going to have by just in case, no. We will follow the law. If by then, this, we are applying this law, 72. If by then the law has been passed, at least by the National Assembly, then we go to, to the number that they are proposing now. The Swapo Party's headquarters was recently burgled and ransacked. Mumba believes this was a politically motivated move that saw confidential files stolen from the premises. He also condemned the rumours that electronic voting machines of the Electoral Commission of Namibia were stored on the premises, which he believes was one of the reasons that motivated the crime. For the News on One, I'm Treasure Kaudu.